Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shafaqat Ali with another video of Android development. This is chat app series. So in this video we will fix few bugs. Many students send me emails that in our chat app application we have few bugs. So let me show you what we are going to fix. Let me click on the profile here you can see here we have this user and if I open this user here user B. So let me open the find friend and here we will open this user so here we have this user and let me open here user b not this one here when we send the friend request and accept the friend request it will add the same information under both ids so let me send the friend request and here i will accept the friend request so here we have database so here you can see here we have two IDs both have same information you can see here so we will fix this box so go to Android studio and here we will open this method load user this actually loading the other user information not my profile so here we have to create an other method load my profile so what we are going to do here we will create another method load my profile okay now here at the bottom we will copy paste few code so here we will copy this method load user and here we will paste at the bottom so we will use m reference so first we have to fix the reference we have to create reference of my id so here we have m user reference so it's storing the reference of other user id so we will remove this one and let me open the load other user and here we have to add the child of other user id okay now this method loading the other user data and at the bottom here we have another method load my profile it's loading my profile data so here we have to create the global variable of my profile image url username city country and profession so at the top we will create few variables so here we have few variables my profile image url username city country and profession okay now it will assign the data from the database of my profile data so when we accept the friend request so here we have to create another hash map so here you can see it's storing the other user information let me open my database and here you can see it's other user information so we have to store both user information under the different ids so let me open the code again here here we have to create another hash map this one so now this will store my information my username my profile image url and my profession now this will call hash map one so this is hash map so let me open here here we have friend dot child it will store actually this if condition if he send and pending so just we have to add here hash map one like this so you need to add this hash map under this other user id hash map 1 so let's run the application again okay i have run the application on both devices so let me open the find friend and here we will open the user b and go to other device and here we will open find friend and this user so let's say i send friend request from this device and here i will accept the friend request so now this time here you can see we have two users and both have different data you can see here username b and here we have tony so we have different user so let me explain the code again so first we have to create the global variable of my user profile so now go to 
down and here we have load user now we will create load my profile this is this is for other user so this for my profile so let me open this method and here we will create i mean load the data from the database and assign to the global variable so here we have global variable we will simply assign the information to the global variable so here we have user m user reference here i have used my user id because i have to load the data from my profile so we will open the if condition where he sent and pending he sent the request and it's pending so here we have to create another hash map so this is hash map one and here we have username my username that we have assigned the at global site so now my profile email url and my profession so this hash map we will assign under the other user id so here we have m user dot get uid not other user id it's my user id so here we have assigned the hash map one so let me open the database here you can see here we have different database so this problem is fixed so i will check if i have any other problem i will fix in the next video so if you have any question any problem let me in the comment section please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel see you in the next video take care